You know there are moments in life, there are highs and there are lows. And I was fortunate. Nor has always been a high for me. Always. I, I can remember the first time I met her was a Saturday afternoon. And Denise and I had just started dating. She says, I want you to meet my daughter. So we go to Denise's condo, and there's Nora sitting on the couch. And we automatically just hit it off. And I will tell Dylan this, what Nora wants, you know the other part of that, don't you? <laughs> Nora gets. And I tell you what, I know who's going to take care of me in the end. This girl here, you know why? I broke my leg, I broke my hip. This girl here has always been there for me. She came every day, brought me lunch, took me to the doctors. She left work and she'd come to my house and take care of me. This is the kind of child, that's why I say she's my daughter and I'm her father. And I'm very proud of her. The things I have learned are echoed in a couple poems. Tus Pies by Pablo Neruda and The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Neruda mentions of his love that he doesn't love the eyes, waist, or breast of his love, but I love your feet only because they walked upon the earth and upon the wind and upon the water until they found me. And Frost also says two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. The journey you both have been walking through this life has led you to each other and to this moment. Honor each other, honor your feet, and honor your journey for having brought you together. Frost's poem is also misinterpreted as telling us to take the harder road for the greater reward, which is not true. He wanted us to know that which path is right in life, we don't know, but we have to choose one and walk down it into the unknown. And this I say, Dylan and Nora, keep walking and go with God. May you never have to banish misfortune. May you find kindness in all that you meet, May you bring love and may you bring happiness and be loved in return to the end of your days. Each day that you wake, give thanks and give praise. May your sacred union today create a love greater than the sum of its parts that nourishes and protects future generations. And Dylan, I know you said you're going to be her rock, but also be her fence. And always remember, a happy life is a happy life. <laughs> Nora and I have known each other for over 20 years, and there's a lot of good stories to tell. Lots. No, um, unfortunately, due to our parents being here, we'll save those for another time. You see us on the side, just come talk. I am honored to be here to actually be able to share this moment with both of these wonderful people. I love you both. I am so happy that you guys make each other as happy as you do. 
and it's just, it's crazy. To see you in a wedding dress and to see us here after, like I said, over 20 years. And I just want to say congratulations. And I'm super happy for you guys. And I can't wait for you guys to have babies. It's been a long journey for the both of us, Nora. And I'm so proud of you and so happy for you. Dylan, take care of my girl. You break a heart, I break your legs. Who has the wackiest family? <laughs> now that you two are married, real quick, who's going to be the first of you to say, not tonight?